In this one, we'll be finding out what Auntie Ethel is hiding. I mean, she's an old lady that lives in the middle of the woods. I think you can guess. We're walking into a horrific fairy tale in this one. Welcome to my full playthrough of Baldur's Gate 3. Please do hit like and subscribe if you want to see more. Drop me a comment and let me know what you would do in this situation. Would you take the deal? You'll see what that means later on. Let's begin Baldur's Gate 3. Okay, so we're on the road again. Gonna go see Auntie Ethel, clear up some of these side quests. I'm wondering if I should use my Illithid powers now and open my brain. I'm tempted, but I'm also kind of scared to open my brain up to them. Charge forward. Push all objects and creatures in your path away from you. Favorable beginnings. The first attack roll you make against the target gains a bonus equal to proficiency. Ugh. Ugh. What the hell? Ah. Oh, my brain. My poor brain. Luck of the Far Realms. Make a successful attack roll. You can change that hit into a critical hit. Channel the dark allure of the tadpole and charm an enemy that attacks you, preventing them from attacking you till the next turn. A reaction. Ugh. You must be concentrating on another spell to cast this. If the target was concentrating, you heal as much as the damage that was dealt to it. Seems powerful, honestly. Let's have luck. Oh my gosh. It's in my brain. I kind of don't want to change things too much power-wise, so maybe we just have the passive and reactions for now. The blast would be cool. I'll get the blast. Ah, oh, man. I just ruined my brain. Make sure to tie up loose ends before advancing. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, this is not where we want to go. How the heck do I get down there then? There must be a different way. Never a dull moment. I feel like my character would use the Illithid powers. You know, she's crazy. She wants to kill. She'd be seeking them out as some sort of quest to pull the tadpoles out of them and feast on it. You know, I feel like it's within the character, even though I wouldn't do it. All right, I'm gonna have to let me quick save in case I die. I can't see another way down here, so I'm gonna just uh, hang on. Do I have featherfall potion? I thought I did have potion of featherfall. Am I crazy? Bum, 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 bum. Potion of flying. I could fly down, but I feel like everyone. He's going to have to hurt themselves coming down here, so screw it. <laughs> Terrible idea, isn't it? Let's get on with it. Oh, wait, I think... Oh, no, I'm back up. All right. Wait there. All right. What now? Come on, Astarian. Join us. Hey, good looking. Karlak, go. Oh dear. Still Sorry about that. Despite everything. Welcome back to the party. Nearly landed on this little frog, so let's use our short rests. Uh, that'll do for now. Then let's have a little combo with this lad. What are you croaking on about? up your spine there is something wrong with this creature do you need water very because i wrong. can make it rain Bird, Girl. oh something's tainted you is it magic poison Careful. hmm perhaps i should go Um, right. 
Who has the rain spell? Ah, oh, Astarian. You like, you want it to rain? Hang on. Let me save it. Better? Or maybe if we bless you with Shadow Heart. Bless is a pretty. Or like a cleanse or something. I reckon. Cure a creature from disease, poison, paralysis, or blindness. Oh, I can't target you with that. Can bless you though. Just that one. Don't even touch me. No? Just bless the frog. I wonder what the next move is. Hmm. something we can do for you. Maybe after we take care of her? Sounds like you're cursed. We'll be back. Is that blood? No, never mind. With haste. I'm pretty sure I can cast a spell on you. I have a lot on my mind. Oh? A chill runs up your spine. You feel like you're being watched. Hmm. Look for signs of unnatural activity. Guidance. Oh my gosh. Flopped it. The place has a quiet sense of calm. You can't see anything strange. Absolutely flopped it. Shabby wooden doors. Knock, knock. I'll give it a shot. Well, this is cute. I don't want a crumb left on that plate, girl. Auntie Ethel, please. One more bite, and this pie is going to come back up to say hello. Don't make me get the wooden spoon. You're eating for two, so get to it. If it isn't my favourite flower, welcome to Auntie Ethel's. Come in, come in. Feel free to relax yourself and have a cuppa. Hmm? I feel like I just walked God, into a grim grant fairy tale. Me patience, eat up, Marina. I won't say it again. Marina. Hmm. You have an interesting home. Beautiful, isn't it? It's little refuge for the lost and hopeless. People in dire need travel from all over Faerun to see little old me. And I do my damnedest to help them. And you, Petal, well, you need a lot of help. <laughs> that wriggler swimming in your brain juice is a bit of an inconvenience, isn't it? What if she wants them for herself, like how I just consumed them? Hmm. Something isn't right. That woman, why is she with you? Busy bodies are not appreciated around here. I don't like this. What's really going on here? I'll talk about your wriggler, and that's it. Last warning. Hmm. Fine. Can you remove it? Quicker than you can say yes, auntie. What do you say? Want me to take care of the little bugger? Hmm. Depends on the price. Well, that depends on the job. A removing a parasite is no small feat. But I like you, Petal. So I'll only ask for something small. One of your pretty little peepers. I already lost one. Oh dear. You don't have one to spare. <laughs> Terribly sorry, Petal. But no deal for you. You want one of my eyeballs. Should you know someone with two eyes in their head and a regular problem, send them my way. Auntie will sort them out. Wow. Get. What's the matter with this? Come now, Marina. 
Oh. Whoa. 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 Where, where'd she go? The heck? Hang on a second. Where did you take her? Hmm. Hello, sweetness. I'm still waiting for someone with the spare eye. What happened to Marina? Also, I'm here to trade. Let me trade with you first, see what you've got before I definitely get into a fight with you. It's about what's about to happen. Okay, healing potions, yes, please. Whispweed. Greater healing potion. How much is that? Only 37. Yoink. Corellan's Grace. Natural pugilist. Game one bonus to armed attacks. Mine's better. Sorry, babe. Okay. Let's see what I can give you for this. Get some of these heavy weapons out of my inventory. There you go. Here for whatever you need, Petal. Where where'd the girl go? Hey. Hello, sweetness. I'm still waiting for someone. Where's the girl? Despair. Keep your own little nose in your own little dish, Petal. I don't like busybodies. <sighs> Ta -ta, Petal. Come. Come. She disappeared her, and so we said it's this is an illusion, right? Can we have a little look in here? Oh, she's keeping an eye on us. Household prayer, common prayer. Leather under to light, so we need to guide covenant to judge pressure. Right. Everyone subscribes <clears throat> to what is mine is yours, it seems. Sorry about that. Just having a peek in your ward drove. Should mind my step. How are we gonna dispel this illusion? Without just openly attacking her. Potions, mistress, greater healing, the treacle tart. Was she even <laughs> real? Okay, that just goes up there. Portrait of Sibyl Kaleran. Sibyl, wasn't that the character from um Might be useful. Divinity. Let me see. Can I have a closer look at that? Portrait. Is there like an examine? It is Sibyl from Divinity 2. Huh. How cool. Oh, I want to collect the Divinity Divinity paintings. I hope I can buy a house in this game and like collect stuff and Put it in there. Mm -hmm. to put my hands on everything. What's in the well? Evil people always hide stuff in a well. Fresh, sweet smelling water gurgles gently below. Drink? The warm rush of power flows through you. You feel stronger, faster, better. Got a buff. Refreshed. Hit point maximum increased by 10 until next long rest. Interesting. There's a little note on the table. All is ash and meat. What's that? The letter begins in an elegant cursive, but ends in harsh, sloping scrawl. Ethel, forces are at work in Baldur's Gate. The mewling wretches are trying to edge me out of my own territory. I've killed four of their agents. None talked. Not yet, at least. I doubt you hear anything beyond the bleating of your ridiculous sheep. But if you catch even a whisper, send word immediately. M. M. Who be M? Yoink. Don't mind if I do. If not over, then through. So 
it said down here is a... Is there a... How do I dispel the illusion? Looking for secret levers. Pull the herb hanger. Um, maybe give me guidance and then I'll be able to like see more. Yeah, cast it on me. On me. You don't see me? I've got a long road ahead. I suppose you want to hear about Casador. Um Okay, you said he was your master. It's not really a great time, Astarian. My old master. Before the mind flayers took me from him. Before this strange, twisted freedom. Casador Tsar is a vampire lord in Baldur's Gate. The patriarch of his coven, and a monster obsessed with power. Not political power or military power, I mean power over people. People? The power to control them completely. He turned me nearly 200 years ago. I became his spawn. And he became my tormentor. Would you let a vampire turn you? Let me know in a comment. Like, if you met a vampire and they were pretty chill, but they were like... I'm a vampire, by the way. Do you want to join me and live forever? Yes or no? So, you were his slave. A vampire's spawn is less than a slave. They're a puppet. We have no choice but to obey our master's commands. They speak, and our bodies react. It's all part of the deal. Sometimes he'd order us to submit to torture. Sometimes he'd... Have us torture ourselves. Damn. Whatever his weather vane mood settled on. Sounds terrible, I'm sorry. Thank you. But this isn't about sympathy. Oh. It's about knowing what we might be up against. The Mind Flayers aren't the only monsters out there. And they might not be the only ones hunting us. <laughs> All I'm asking I like my is that thinking you face. Your I'm like, oh. eyes open and watch out for anything lurking in the shadows. You keep me safe. I'll do the same. What more could I ask? Now is that all? Hmm. How does someone become a vampire? It's simple. Just find a vampire that will drink your blood and turn you into a vampire spawn. Without being a puppet. Their obedient puppet. In theory, the next step is to drink their blood. Uh -huh. Once you've done that, you're free. And a true vampire. In theory. So you'd have to drink Casador's blood. Free and a true vampire. Capable of creating my own coven. Yes. Although, I'd settle for just killing the bastard. I wouldn't be a true vampire. But I'd be free of him. Hmm. Okay. How do we do something here? Sit in the chair, maybe. That's where she teleported from. Hmm. Do I just attack her? To try and get it out of her? I just... Seems like a good moment to talk. Hello, sweet. I'm still waiting for someone with the Did you do something to her? Where is she? Keep your own little nose in your own little dish petal. I don't like busybodies. Ta -ta. <sighs> Busybody this. You saw to fight. And now you have one. What if she's actually just an old lady? <laughs> Oh, I've interrupted your spell. You blink and the wilderness changes. A swamp, stinking and insidious, assaults your senses. Oh, wait, where'd you go? Hello? What? 
Are these gnomes? Where'd she disappear to? Oh boy. Okay. The Starion. Move up a little bit. Um. Can you get him from here? Path is interrupted. Alright, let's have you call in a familiar then. Get a little uh, raven, shall we? Go blind that little thing. <laughs> oh god. Ah, my eyes! Marm! That was a marm! Guard the door, little bird. And then we'll have Karlak run in. Frenzy up first. Run. Dash, 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 I should say. And get amongst these boys here. Just to, like, kind of hold them off. Look at that sprint. And then you need to come up here because she went invisible. But I have the... Hang on. I literally think she's there. Look. My movement thing. What? What? Why didn't I get a turn? The <laughs> thing's moving before I did. I think she's literally over. There she is. Oh my god, she looks terrifying. Where'd she go? She d oh my god, she went into a dark place. That's terrifying. Come on, can't stay idle. Why am I not getting a turn? It's like skipping over me. Oh my gosh, these guys have quite a bit of HP. Oh, that didn't do much. 6 to 15, but it really didn't hit them for very much there at all. Get them blinded again. It's hot in here. Bam! Didn't fall over, though. I can probably pick you up. You're pretty small. Nice. Do we go after her or do we deal with them? I feel like we deal with them. Light on my feet. Um, you don't need a heal yet, right? I haven't wild shape just yet. Like, can Shadowheart get a move, please? Dash in. Oh yeah, cast that spiritual weapon. Summon my trident. She's a witch of the woods. One on this lad. Path interrupted. Well, okie dokes. In that case... Drop a little cloud of daggers right here. That feels like such an Astarian spell, honestly. A cloud of daggers is a little vampire. Killed.
Bum, 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 bum. If I can stun you, you'll have to stay in those daggers. Bam. Dazed. Another strike. Big damage there. Take you. Okay. Not enough movement. Good job, guys. Slip, damn it. Don't want to use all my spells. There's only one guy left. We got him. Now this is my happy place. Unlucky. Oh, throw a body at him. If it'll reach, it won't, okay. Firebolt. Critical miss. Start healing Shadow Heart up before we go in there and fight the hag. Stay focused. And you drop a firebolt too. Bust some little cantrips out. Do you have any potions? No, I should I should have shared those potions out actually. for you. We're waiting for this one to make his way up here anyway, but... Well, I'm on the way. Well, for me. There we go. You're all carrying bone cap. Can you stop channeling the daggers now, Astarian? little guy. We're waiting for you. We're all here. Time to press ahead. Send my spiritual trident in. Leave you there on a slightly raised ground. Uh, wait for me. I'm out. Uh. <laughs> Spells. Coming to the party, little gnome. Time to die. Come on, Astarian. Nice shot. I kind of wanted you to run in there. I didn't actually mean for you to range because it's very clear that you can't. Damn. 
God, he's about to jump down the well. <gasps> There's a load of skulls over there. At the ready. Get him. Got some scrolls in ya. Learning spells. Wizards can learn new spells and studying certain scrolls instead of using them. I guess if you're a Starian, because he is the Wiz. Learn more spells. I can learn Blur and Protection from Evil and Good. For gold. Interesting. I guess I'll send you all of my scrolls then. Um, I need to get you some better armor, because you're no longer proficient with any armor, are you? Because you're a wizard now. I need to get you a robe or something. Why am I not seeing this hat on you? Put your hat on, Astarian. Oh, that's why, because your actual armor is... Your pants right now. I understand. Sorry, darling. Keep that on. Right. Shouldn't have watched what am I doing? Sending some healing potions around. Split. What is it? Alt? To like drag one or? There's a way to do it. Split, split, split. Send that one to Astarian. Send that one to Karlak. That one to my sweet, sweet Shadow Heart. Right, guys, short rest. <sighs> Let's go in. Save it. She could be tough. Back inside we go. Ooh, little Onyx. Onyx. Do you have a favourite gem? It's always a pleasure to My see dear, you stop talking to me when I just accidentally click on you one time whilst I'm moving, please. I have a lot on my mind. And, well, in it. She's gone in here. Nothing. Turn the fire off. Stop! Well, my day just improved. Thank you. Did I'm you glad. Oh. Oh. A spooky place. No, How can I? Why can't I get down there? Do you have to jump? <gasps> can't see. Wait, what's this? Wooden stairs. Ooh, green. An overgrown tunnel. Everyone, uh, sneak. Down here. Don't look. Don't. What's that? Standing mirror. Please, please. As you edge closer to the mirror, a pale face appears, contorted in fear. Fists slam against the mirror's surface again and again. Don't. Someone's trapped in there. Oh, oh my god. What is this place? Just standing there holding her head. This is like so Blair Witchy. My darling Magrim. She wished for the mind of a genius, but that silly head crushed me. Oh no. Stop. Oh. Please. Please. It's better go see this guy, I guess. He's just got Don't. scrolls on him. No. No! Don't look. My 
mustn't look, mustn't see. Smile as he twitches and whimpers. Mustn't look at what exactly? I see it. I see what's to come. You realize there's magic at work. Some type of spell. An illusion. Smash the mirrors. Me. Dead. Dead. Flesh rotten and bone shining. Hmm. Quietly observe. Skull splitting. Knife twisting. Gut spilling. All future. All bad. All. Gods. Don't hurt me. Oh, please. Please. Please, please, please. Okay. You're safe. No. No. Monster. For my dripping. Flesh peeling. Mind flayer. Silently step away. Mind flayer. I need to break this curse. No intention of letting that happen. Please. Please. Let me save. Starion. Don't look. Don't smash the mirrors. And maybe these cursed Stop. things. You are oh my jump scare. Sweetness. This is my personal playhouse, and you don't have an invite. Get out! That was absolutely terrifying. Where is Marina? Has that wriggler eaten your brain already? Leave. Or you'll end up in tonight's stew. We'll go nicely with Marina. She's already marinating. Grim. Don't. My no. gentle Lauren, don't he wish to know what was to come? Oh. You feel crushing waves of fear as the presence within the door recoils. It can't let people through, not again. What happened last time you opened? Images flash. A man cowering, a bag open at his feet. Gold coins spilling onto the floor. His cries for mercy are cut short as the hag slices into him, dismembering him painstakingly, limb by limb. She cackles, the man's remaining flesh twisted and contorted, becoming the twisted surface of the door before you. Well, this is like a horror. Flee, you feel it cry. Not afraid. A scene appears in your mind. Two paladins and a cleric marching through the door, shrouded in the glow of the divine. Weapons brandished, they charge into the hag's lair. Screams of terror pierce the air. You let them in? Nobody. That's a decade for each. She's so You're scary. Mine for 30 more years, Petal. Oh. Horrific. It's like worse than anything I've seen in a horror film recently. <sighs> Let me through. The door stays silent. Its form flickers, and you realize that the door is transparent. If I kill the hag, you'll be free. Didn't mean to uh, rush that dice, but you there see we go. the hag. She walks through the door, its form shimmering. The lightest touch of hope brushes your mind as the presence within retreats. Okay, we've got to help you first, though. I think if I shoot that away. No? Maybe everyone will be. Okay, if we go through. You feel the barest hint of life from within the door. Walk in. You see the hag, eyes bright with glee as she sets fire to the door. 
With a jerk, you're pulled from the vision. The presence within shrinks, begging you not to run through it. Just let me in. I can see why this is called a bone cap. You know? What's that? Oh, she's got little people in here? Horns. Non-lethal attacks. You can knock enemies out. Ah, so if we take out her and spare you, we'll save you as well. Because, okay. I see, I see. Seems like you hit us for a lot, though. So I'm not quite sure how likely that is, but let's move up anyway. Dun 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 dun. Maybe Karlak can knock you all out. Poor little pawns. Right. Frenzy up. And then let's move you here. So how do we do non-lethal? Threatened. Must be a setting somewhere, no? Journal map. Hello, non lethal attack. Anyone, anyone. Maybe it's only on certain weapons. Let me Google real quick. Ah, you go into passives and then toggle non lethal. Got it. Just trying to knock you out, darling. Oh, what's happening? Seem to be in a cutscene. No? That was weird. And I'm instantly down, okay. Toggle non lethal. Must be unarmed or using melee weapon. Doesn't work on undead and constructs. Ah, right, so. Not really for you, is it, Shadowheart, to hit them again and you'd kill them. So maybe just get me up. Heal me. Why is it like this where I can't see my thing? I feel like I'm cursed by the witch. sense. I'm like bugged. Hmm. Oh, better reload. Okay, we're back. So we're going to repeat that fight and let's see. Shadowheart, do you have a melee that's not going to murder people? Mm, you can use this crude mace for a minute. Sneak in Live on my feet. and get closer as a group. My hand slipped. Oh, busted. Do it. Are they like wearing creepy masks as well? Ah, Mask of Terror, Mask of Vengeance. They're like different types of things. Going non lethal. Get you off of here. Ah, I wanted to send you flying off. You're 
almost down too. So that does non-lethal for everyone, right? Okay. Threesome. Saved from the grease. And get out of view. I guess I could uh, wild shape it up. Can a bear be non lethal? I wonder. Must be unarmed or melee weapon. I mean, it's kind of a melee weapon. And if I summon a spiritual maul, it should be non lethal. Mobile because I'm frightened. Damn. Surely, if I frenzy, that like gets rid of being frightened, right? No, it's still immobile. Well, I don't want to hit you with anything else because, yeah, I guess I just wait. You're not really melee right now, so. Just kind of keep them greased up. How the uh, spells coming out of them are with her voice. It's pretty cool. Come on, you gotta finish him. Don't slip in the grease though, because that would be. I thought like I had one HP. Healed up. Mob him. Too heavy. Knocked out. Okay, good. They stop on one HP. Nice. I love that I can knock people out. I gotta remember that for other situations. Alright, how we doing? Heal. Take you. Ah, <gasps> Starion's down. Didn't even see that. Take you. in the grease like running in a dream Okay. Poor 
motherfucker. Good job. Eight left. Look at us, just a couple of babes fighting side by side. I know it's something really cool doing this fight. They get a wisdom check, a wisdom roll, and if they pass it, they get to fight off her puppeting. It's like they're they're actually trying not to hurt us, and they roll for wisdom. And if they fail, then they take their turn. And if they um, and if they pass it, then they don't. Like like that's so cool. Like the law being written into the move there with the dice is um, I think it's awesome. Like, wisdom failed, so then he attacks. It's really cool. Alright, so I've been really sneaky. We snuck in and got to the back already and been doing damage on the Servitude one. Hopefully, Asterion's little crab can get this done. Pinched him. They're on one health, but it wasn't enough to knock him out. And so I thought probably the best thing to do with the Mask of Vengeance is to actually use my spirit weapon. Since they can fight back on that and it won't cause my party any issues. And I really, really need to get Astari in some wizard's armor because he's just getting absolutely battered, to be honest. Okay, can't quite get there to do anything. What if I jump? I just need to get rid of her. Come on. Good job. Tactical. Then you go deal with that one. I won't give in. And I will do the same. What path lies before me? Trudge through the mud. That's why we can't get in there easily. And bear it up. Not badger, not badger. Bar. Astarian's kind of useless in this fight, but um, it doesn't hurt to have another pair of hands. And if I keep you up in the fight, I can avoid using a scroll. Resurrection or a costly resurrection with Wither. Where's the other one? Ah, up there with you. Okay. Maybe we should start moving around that way. One little crab. Hey, yes, 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 yes. Come on, pass your wisdom checks. Come on, little spirit. <laughs> I thought it climbs down. Yes. Only two HP. Two to go. Alright. That frenzy, darling. Alright, just finish him. That's good, that's big. Can't help him up yet. Sometimes the only way out is through. Good. This is the one. It's like the third or fourth attempt that didn't go disastrously wrong. And should I like loot them, like pull the mask off or something? I think my crab's quite capable of doing that. Right, you, spirit uh, weapon. Uh, Astarian, settle down with that moaning. What 
if I like pull the mask off? Part of the flock. Auntie Ethel welcomes you, dearie. Soft, unintelligible whispers seep from the dark wood, ringing in your ears, resounding in your skull. Ah, let's set them free. Oh, they died. Ah. Uh <laughs> I knocked them out with the mask on, but they died when I took it off. Uh, sorry about that. Heading out. I guess kill the witch first, guys. Carlac comes running over. Guys, don't take the masks off. Why? What happens? N nothing. Just, just don't. Oh god, I can't be bothered to reload it for that one, to be honest. Time to deal some punishment. <laughs> Three out of four ain't bad. I wonder if this is worth the cost. Immobile. Ah, oh, Nastarian's dead too. Bloody hell. Come on. Get him. Immobile. Come on, Shadowheart. Come on, Shadowheart. Get him now. No choice but to keep going. Ooh. Ah, he rolled his nice. Got his roll. Ah, dear. Well, why are you celebrating Astarian's death, Shadow? Does anyone have a scroll of resignness? No time to rest. Ah, scroll of revive. You do. Better come out of wild shape to cast it, though. I'm tempted to do a rest because we're all so low health, but also. I don't know how long they're knocked out for, so I'm really not sure if that would be the right move right now. I think we maybe just take our potions. And try and get through it. Making me sweat. This is such a waste of potions, I know. Heal everyone. That should be alright going into a fight. Right, we'll not take their masks off then for a second. Let me just save it. Let's move. I'll push on. And also, like, that's no need to be non-lethal anymore, so let's get everyone's weapons back out. We've got to keep moving. At least things have stayed interesting. These boots have seen everything. Leave them knocked out. How do we get to here? I'm gonna jump through. Hmm. Well, now I think if I cast, don't I have? Um, I think I took gust, right? Yes. Oh, sorry. Should be able to clear us a path. No, the noxious fumes, they can't be moved. But that's like the whole point of dust. Why is that not working? Strange. Hmm. Point having that then. Protection from poison. I'm trying to see what would be worth having here. Dun, 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 dun. Another heal, I think. Okay. So we can either go down the ladder or. Down that way. Let's go this way. 
Um, careful. There's a peculiar flower there. I've got this. that dispel the fumes or it's just what explodes ah so this is making me vulnerable to psychic and acid damage oops not good Get out of here, actually, please. Oh, my lord. Whatever comes, be ready. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Every millennial. Watch that flower, guys. Swift as my feet can carry me. All by my hand. And there we go. Ah, there she is. The girl. Prime spot for an ambush. Go ahead and save it. Take you. There, in the cage. I'm aware. You come to my home, interfere in my business, and now have the gall to face me in the heart of my lair. You petulant bollocks! I'll rip your spine out your asshole! I'll use Grandma. your blood to spice my stew! I'll keep you alive until I've sucked the marrow from your bones! I'll bring you back and do it all over again. Just get out of here, please. All right. I want the girl so bad. Fine. <gasps> the cage is burning. Oh, how do I get her out of there? I wish I had teleport. Maybe I have a scroll. She's got some illusions. Oh my god, she has a hundred life. Which is the real her. That girl hasn't got long. If you plan to save her. I did. Does anyone have a scroll of teleport? Speak with dead, blur, revivify, hold person. Uh, speak with dead. Scroll the grease, hold person. Okay, so no scrolls that can help us. Hmm. Oh dear. Swift as my feet can carry me. I can call Scratch into the fight. I had not. Oh my god! Come on, good boy. Come on, good boy. Scratch is here. Just what we needed. And... What am I going to do? Cast some spells, I guess. Let me move. Actually, stay here. It's fine. Alright, Astarian. Get where you can see things, please. I have to try and do this quick. How do we know which is the real one? If I get them with the Scorching Ray. Okay, it's that one. We got her. Now we know who you are. Drop the uh, Guiding Bolt. 
Good job, Shadowheart. On scratch. What have you got? Help? You can help downed people up like a rescue dog. Amazing. Give her a nibble. Yes. Come on, guys. You've got to save the girl. We've got to do this quick. Frenzy up. Then dash. Aye, aye. Get there. I can't do anything, but I can stand there, so hopefully if you go past me, you'll take a hit. Go on, hit her. Go on, hit her. Oh my god, okay, again. I mean, is that you there, invisible? Because... is burning. What's that you have there? A sylvan stone. I wonder if that's something you can, like, break the stone instead. Oh, why can't I do my spike growth? I don't have any level 2 spells left. Blood follows me everywhere. Critical miss. There she is, though. I can see her. Because of my eye. Because of my eyeball. I can see her invisible. Let's, um, bear it up. Another step forward. Hit her with everything. 26. And... Fireball. Good. We just want to, like, open up on our everything, everything, everything. I don't think you can get over there, can you, Scratch? So... How are we gonna... Maybe I can make it rain and stop it f from burning. Oh, Scratch is so cute. Stay there. Look at him. Look at that battle pose. Oh my god, I want a Scratch model. Wait! Oh, wait just a tick! Oh, are you gonna beg now? Killing me is a waste of time. I'll find a way to return. Always have, always will. I love that I'm still a bear doing this. Look at me. Unpleasant. So how about we be civilized about this? Mm -hmm. I have something you want. What? What do you have? Go on. I knew I liked you, dearie. Let me leave with the girl, and I'll give you power. Hmm. You want to be stronger, tougher, smarter, done. Anything is possible. Just let me keep the girl and her babe. Ability if her score powers plus were one. worth anything, we wouldn't have beaten her. Finish this. Good it's point, your babe. choice, sweetness. Good point, babe. If you want to live, hand over her and the power. Give me the girl. Mmm. Do we kill her or do we take... Ooh. <laughs> Look at me as a pair. Oh, I don't know what we should do, really. Um, do you have any honey? <laughs> it's like, why do... Astarian, this isn't even your thing, but you're but you're a bear right now, darling. Let me do the talking. It's fine. You stay in your little furry guise, okay? No, come on. <laughs> oh, man. You put me through hell, Hag. I kind of want you to die. Um... No, you've done too much. You're evil. You're pure, you're pure evil. You're pure evil. Evil in a way that not even me as a serial killer that's enjoying killing people. Like, you are torturing. Like, what I saw in that back room was like a bloody horror movie. You gotta go, alright? A dead hag is the answer. Fine. Have it. 
have it your way. And rip your throat out, yes, you little bollocks. Okay. Shame it wasn't me getting to do that dialogue because it looks like a Starian just got points with Shadowheart and that. And it's like, I want the approval, thank you. <gasps> Wait, she pulled her out of the cage. She's only got eight health. Oh my god. Don't kill her. Stay alive, everyone. Out of my form. Everyone's held. Scratch. <laughs> it's just you, baby. Come on. Let's see where you can dash to. Oh. Ah, oh, I got dispelled. Damn. Oh, it bugged me out again, so I can't cast anything. What the hell? Oh. Starion crying for me. This is not good. We had it, and then the, the stupid bug means that I'm not going to win the fight. Because I can't see my bloody spells anymore. Well, looks like I've got to repeat it because of that bug. Um, I've managed to sneak in pretty well here. I was going to try and get this stone... Let's see if that does anything. Unlocked a recipe. And this is like... Hilaire. I've managed to sneak in here without triggering it yet. But... Oh, hang on. Is something happening? This is her acrid workshop where she makes her masks. Letter from Ethel. Sister dearest, are you feeling all right, Petal? I can't believe you let some pup give you the slip. I'd be mortified. Worry not, my red cap's nabbed the bugger. They're taking their sweet time with him. The screaming stopped a few nights past, but the sobbing continues. He'll die regretting he crossed a hag. A mother with a failing mind. You know me so well. I have the most darling mask for her. Ethel, I've heard business has been slow. Rest assured, I have a job for you. A client fled Baldur's Gate without payment. My agents picked up his trail along the Chiontha and have ensured he will pass through your territory. Do as you wish with him. In exchange, I have a girl who suits your particular appetites. Her mother's mind is failing. My contact has assured her you can help. I'll have her sent by the usual route. <gasps> oh, there's rings. What's this? A mushroom circle. What? 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 Oh. Where am I? Walking on air. Karlak is inspired. Successfully use a fairy ring. Where are we? We're out the back of her house. Can you go back in? Interesting. Okay. I was thinking there might be sort of a secret here. What about that stone I picked up? Where did it go? Huh? I literally picked a stone up, no? I feel like um, Shadowheart's silence could be useful here as well. Does this count as adventuring? ASMR. So here's a fun little thing. If I cast Scratch to trigger the witch, then it becomes a Scratch led cutscene. <laughs> Check this out. You come to my home, interfere in my business, and now have the gall 
to face me in the heart of my lair, you petulant bollocks! I'll rip your <laughs> spine out your asshole! I'll use your blood to spice my stew! Dog I'll looks so confused. Until I've sucked the marrow from your bones. And then I'll bring you back and do it all over again. Just get out of here, please! So I uh, can also confirm that conjuring water puts the fire out, like I thought. That's awesome. Love that. Oh, here's another sneaky little trick I've discovered through my repeating of this to try and get back to where I was. If you cast Witch Bolt with your wizard, it stays attached to the one that's not the illusion, and we can easily see which one it is every time. Which is pretty handy. Um... Is that still burning? Oh my god, water! Water, water, water! Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Oh my god, I've been trying to redo this fight for so long. Weirdly, on this one, I killed her and she didn't make me an offer. She didn't offer me any power, she just died. And then, of course, combat ended and this kept burning. And uh, we go again, I guess. Great. So it's, I'm getting so annoyed that that bugged out on the first one because. I've been here for like an hour trying to win this fight again. Well, made it. We're here again. Honestly, this has now taken me so long that I kind of want the uh, ability point as a reward for this taking me so long to do, <laughs> you know? So we're going to try the um, intimidation roll. <sighs> got to do a... Got to do a 15 to get the girl and the ability point. Come on. Good. There we go. Perfect. Girl power everything or I turn your skull into a piss pot. You greedy little bollocks. Fine. Here. Yeah. Gross. I'll not soon forget this sweetness. You have my word. But the deal? What about my husband? What happens to him? Deal's off, you dumb cow. <laughs> and you've her to thank for it. Not that it matters. I'll find another just as plump and ripe. I can set up shop elsewhere. People always need lotions and potions. Calling someone a cow is so rude but also so hilarious at the same time um best of luck auntie bollocks to luck it's only the deal that counts bye bye petal bye bye you bastard you ruined it um, you ruined everything you're welcome this is an interesting way of thanking me you want thanks a slap is all you deserve Ethel was going to bring my husband back, back from the dead, and now I'll never see him again. Because of you! <sighs> Don't be naive. A hag was never going to help you. She would have. I had everything figured out. Just a bit longer, and my child would have been born. And all this. Are you going to give your child over? All this would have been over. You were going to trade a baby for your dead husband. Don't judge me. I have nothing. My baby would have been raised in rags. Auntie Ethel promised to give this child a good life. Teach them magic even. Please. More than I could have done. Is that what she told you? She said I'd make a bad mother. I, I think she's probably she gonna right. eat that baby, dude. Now I'll have to drag Connor's coffin all the way home. It's the only way this child will ever meet their father. I hope you're happy. Mm hmm. 
We made a deal with the hag. In exchange, she gave us great power. Why is Shadowheart got it? Auntie Ethel's hair. Or is everyone... Did everyone get one? Oh, I pick who... Right, okay. Um, who is this going to? Why does it say Shadowheart? Is everyone going to get this option? Hmm. What would be good for you, Shadow Darling? Probably some wisdom or some constitution. Constitution never hurts, I suppose. Who just took that? Auntie Ethel's constitution. But it's not, uh... Can you get one? I feel like everyone should have got one. Right, well, I'll be taking that. Thank you, darling. Send it over. Still breathing, despite everything. Where's that hair? I prefer that cape, the red prince. I like the little one. Um, where's that gone in my pocket? Auntie Ethel's hair. Have a little suck on that. Foul. Breathe deep and move. All right, everyone together. We finally did it. I was looking for a body to loot. Then I thought I'd let her go. I feel like she'll show back up. To be honest. I think we'll get another shot at it. So now we can reloot her uh, area here. Bet that will fit in my pack. Copper for your thoughts. Um, no, I didn't mean to click on you. I'll have a catch up with all of you when we're in camp. Okay, we'll get through all of the dialogues that you'll have. Anything of use? For now, I'm just going to steal every last potion. Now, I sort of feel like these are probably all rubbish. Made up nonsense by the looks of things. But we're going to pick them up and have a look. A parasite swims in the bottom of this bottle, fat with strength. I mean, insanity's kiss... The missing pets. Thousands of little legs skitter inside this bottle. Ugh, disgusting. Take all those rings again. Staff of crones. What's this? A weapon? Two to nine damage. The staff of crones cast ray of sickness and topple. It's not as good as the one that I bought, but, you know. So... I guess that's everything in here. And then we can use the fairy circle. Shrum, 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 shrum. Into a putrid bog. I should save it, really. Auntie Ethel. Gods! Didn't hear you coming. I know I should head home, but I can't bring myself to leave. The thought of putting him in a wheelbarrow and making the journey all over again. Hmm. You could just leave him here. Uh, <laughs> whining won't get you there any faster. Are you alright? Not even a little bit. But I will be. You could leave him here. No! He deserves a proper burial. He deserves some rest. Can I just talk with Dad on him? And he won't get that here. We were just kids when we met. <laughs> I might have pushed him off a swing I wanted. He got right up and pushed me back. I was so surprised that I just laughed. 
You did too. We've barely spent a day apart since. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I couldn't bring you back. Can I, uh... Use talk with dead? No target. Oh my gosh, look at my eyes. Necromancer is so cool. Sorry about that. Oh, Scratch just stays with us running alongside. I love that. My Scratchy boy. Love having a dog with us. And I'm guessing this is just a back door. Back into here. Okay. To her tea house. Let's come back and steal all the potions. Chest. More potions. Lots of buns. Treacle tarts. Recipe for poison. A tea house key. There's another chest here. A necklace. Potions. Nice. What if we camp here? I wonder what it looks like, because we need to camp anyway. I should have gone back and spoken to the people. Although, oh no, we didn't break her magic, so they're probably still stuck there, actually. Oh well. Oh, we're just outside. We're not, like... To do. So anyway, I noticed um, back in camp, I was completely nude when it came back. And those clothes that I was wearing before were apparently Twitch clothes. Which everyone got as, like, a bug. But you need to, like, go watch two hours of someone streaming it. And it's like, do you know what? I'll just wear this. I can't be bothered. So my lovely purple outfit is gone. I'll buy some more lingerie when we get to town. It's fine. The thirst shall continue. Although I will say, this is pretty good. This is off of that drow that we killed in the goblin camp. And it looks pretty saucy. Also, another fun fact. You can look at people's um, panties by... In here, look. Astarian's underwear. Embroidered into the cloth. If you're reading this, you managed to bed or behead me. Either way, you got lucky. Love that. Carlax underwear. How do these not burn off? Shadowheart's underwear. If pants could brood. <laughs> Lion with a fork and one, two, Trying to read his back. Three dots. <laughs> Bloody infernal. How was anyone meant to read this garbage? Do you want me to take a look? What are you doing? Me? What are you doing? I... Well, if you must know, I've been trying to make out the scars on my back. I can't see them. So I've been trying to feel my way about. They may as well be written in Rashimi. Let me have a look. I... This isn't your problem, you know. I know. Now shut up and turn around. Fine. Okay, I kind of love how they talk to each other, I'm not going to lie. The jagged script is definitely infernal. The language of the hells. But you can't make out its meaning. Look at my butt, though. And Sorry. What can you see? <sighs> there once was a cleric of Gond. Who was cursed with a very small wand. That has to be a joke. I'm not sure. Hold still. I'll draw it for you. That's cool. Love this little relationship that's developing, actually. What in the hells? What did he do to me? What is it? 
What does it say? I have absolutely no idea. Well, Karlak no might be able poem. to read this, right? Two centuries carrying this. And I can finally see it. How did you never look? Someone out there will be able to read it. I'm sure. But what will it say? You could ask that devil. Th thank you. By the way, this is... Well, it's something. We'll figure it out. Will we? How sweet. Listen, I know you love me. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this part of Baldur's Gate 3. I'm trying to get them out as quick as I can. I know you guys want more of these and I'm doing my best. So please do hit that like and subscribe before you leave. Check out some of those videos on the screen and I'll see you in the next one.